This is Belle Alba, Editor-in-Chief at Gadgets Magazine. Hello and welcome to another episode of Gadgets TV. We are here to deliver the most relevant topics in tech lifestyle and motoring, so you can stay up to date with the latest news all in one place. First off, we take a look at the world of tech in Circuit Break. In tech news, the Millifone Pure is a portable UVC sterilizer that is designed to safely disinfect your phone and other essential items like car keys, credit cards, eyewear, watches, jewelry, bills, loose change, and the like. The sterilization pouch has eight main touch points that ensure optimal radiation disinfection for any device. With the use of UVC technology, the phone pure deactivates and kills bacteria and viruses at the DNA and RNA level. The pouch itself has a lining that reflects the UVC light all around the interior, providing a 360-degree coverage. It takes as little as 5 minutes for the full disinfecting procedure. For safety, the Mili has a built-in protection feature that deactivates the sterilization procedure if the magnetic zipper enclosure comes undone at any time. The pouch will also not work if the zipper is not fully closed. It is now available for only 850 pesos at the official Mili flagship store on Lazada. Japanese watch brand Orient Star has added the avant-garde skeleton, a new addition to its sports collection. It has red aluminum detailing contrasted against the hairline finished black case and bezel. The dial consists of two open work plates superimposed to show depth with a three-dimensional effect. A honeycomb pattern below and a gear motif on top emphasize the mechanical features of the watch. The avant-garde skeleton has refined the exhibition of the mechanical movement and each part of the display can be read easily at a glance, including the power reserve indicator at 12 o'clock and a small second hand at 6 o'clock. Two designs come with a perforated leather strap. One has a black case and bezel, while the other has a vintage feel with a bronze color case and black bezel. There are also two designs with a metal bracelet and a choice of either a black or silver dial. The new avant-garde skeleton is powered by the 50R Power Reserve in-house caliber F6 F44, an automatic mechanical movement with stable accuracy and reliability. It has a screw-down crown and is water-resistant up to 10 bars. Its refined detail makes it suitable for active outdoor use as well as urban life. According to a report by Poli, a global communications company, the global pandemic has caused businesses to redesign their operations and reinvent the way they work. Drawing on experts in the future of work, workspace design, and psychology, the report suggests that the new normal will see employees enjoying flexibility and choice with businesses thriving through motivated, collaborative, and productive teams. Triggered by COVID-19, hybrid working will introduce new working patterns, outcome-based working, and optimized investment. Polis report sets out the following key global trends for hybrid working spaces that will emerge in 2020 and beyond. Home offices will be given as much attention as the kitchen. Companies will invest in co-working spaces outside of cities to attract talent, and cityscapes will change. For teams to be agile, innovative, ethical, and compassionate, the report says that work cultures need to be inclusive, inquiring, and purpose-driven. As organizations respond, redesign, and reinvent their business models, technology will play a fundamental role in enabling the shift to hybrid working. As teams become more disconnected physically and connected virtually, technology becomes the key that bridges communication between and across teams to optimize work efficiency and productivity. In mobility news, Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation has officially launched the Mitsubishi Outlander Plug-in Hybrid Electric Vehicle, or PHEV, in the Philippine market. The world's first plug-in hybrid SUV, the Outlander PHEV, has sold over 260,000 units across Europe, North America, Japan, and Australia. Equipped with a twin-motor four-wheel drive system that delivers power independently to the front and rear wheels, the Outlander PHEV is capable of generating immediate torque and instant all-wheel drive acceleration with zero emission. It has an engine power output of 128 horsepower and 199 Nm of torque at 4,500 rpm. With a full charge, the Outlander PHEV can achieve a 55km range and its fuel consumption rating is at 16.6 km per liter after EV driving. The Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV was awarded the maximum 5-star rating in the new car assessment program. 
this compact SUV can comfortably seat five adults with flexible seat configurations to accommodate various cargo requirements. It features an 8-inch smartphone link display audio system with Bluetooth connectivity and is Android Auto compatible. It can supply up to 1,500 watts of power from two onboard outlets so occupants can easily charge their gadgets. The Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV is priced at 2,998,000 pesos. It will initially be available at the Peak Motors Philippines Inc. dealership in Manila Bay. Other authorized provincial dealerships will start selling the Outlander PHEV by early 2020. For first-time motorcycle buyers, choosing the right motorcycle can be intimidating. Honda Philippines Inc., the country's leading motorcycle brand, shares these five key elements to consider when buying a motorcycle. First, determine your experience. Some motorcycles are meant for more experienced riders who are used to road challenges. So, before you go to the shop, determine your skill level and riding experience. Second, identify your needs. Why do you need a motorcycle? Consider the type of travel you will use it for, such as long adventure rides, commuting in the city, or zigzagging through traffic. Look for a motorcycle that will cater to your needs. Third, know your options. Through years of innovations, motorcycles have become incredibly diverse. Therefore, it is important to know the different options available so you can pick the bike that suits you best. Fourth, choose a good fit. One of the most important factors when riding a bike is balance. You need to make sure that your feet can reach the foot pegs and that the bike is not too heavy for you. Finally, your budget. You should consider not just the retail price of the bike, but also the cost of fuel and maintenance. Look for motorcycles that are budget-friendly when it comes to parts and fuel efficiency. For young riders, Honda recently introduced the all-new Airblade 150, a cutting-edge automatic transmission bike with standout looks, optimum power, great maneuverability, and excellent comfort. It retails for 109,000 pesos. And that's it for Pit Stop. In Lifestyle News, M. Louis Financial Services, Inc. reassures its customers that all its branches comply with the health and safety standards, especially now that community quarantine has eased up in some major cities. There is a foot bath to ensure thorough sanitation as customers step inside the store. Within the premises, strict social distancing is followed and M. Louis employees wear a mask while serving clients. They are also required to regularly wash and sanitize their hands and disinfect frequently touched areas and objects within the branch. At M. Louis Leyte branches, there are reminder posters and a QR code is provided by latest local government units for easy contact tracing. In Cebu Central B, M. Louis employees are given free vitamins as a regional initiative. During these uncertain times, the best way to fight an invisible enemy is through prevention and extra care, and M. Louis promises its loyal customers that every branch is clean and safe. And that's it for today's installment of Gadgets Magazine TV, your rundown of the latest news and features in the world of tech, lifestyle, and motoring. Catch us online on Facebook, YouTube, and the Gadgets Magazine website on Tuesdays and Fridays. See you next time!